Hey everyone, it's Haas here and today it's a short video guide or more like a demonstration to show how you can enjoy Lies of P more if you're struggling with its core mechanics, namely the perfect guard that the game relies on a lot. Since one of the most popular complaints of the game is that the window to do your perfect guard are way too tight and it makes the game not enjoyable. So in Lies of P there is a special mechanic called Fury Attacks for enemies that are notorious for their ability to not let you dodge out of them unless you have a special amulet that lets you do that, and you can also not block them, only Perfect Guard which is a very tiny window of around half a second maybe or so that is really hard to get right, especially for delayed attacks for enemies that try to mess up your reflexes even more. The game relies on this mechanic quite a lot, I would say this is the main difficulty of Lies of P, and so if you have trouble with Fury attacks, likely most of the game won't be as fun. The good news is that there is actually an alternate solution to all of this apart from just getting used to the perfect blocks, and it is the special Aegis Legion arm that gives you a shield to block with, but aside from the obvious advantage of having a bonus shield you can use, it does have hidden benefits such as giving you a much larger perfect guard window. Like I said before, the normal perfect guard is really tight and you will have to time your blocks almost the moment the attacks would happen, and that's honestly quite hard for most people. But with the Aegis Arm, this block window actually becomes a lot larger, and while it's hard to test the exact amount of time, it seems to at least double the amount of time you are perfect blocking. As you can see in the background footage, my Aegis is able to block a lot earlier and a lot longer than my normal guards and still succeeds very casually, whereas with a weapon it only triggers a normal guard with the exact same timings and also fails to block the Fury attack. The greatest change from the normal guarding to the Aegis is of course that the Aegis does have a startup time to it, so you have to get used to a different preparation time to perfect guard, but I would say this is even an advantage rather than a negative thing, since it contributes even more to the proactive nature of using the Aegis rather than the jumpy reflex based weapon blocks, and I personally found using the Aegis much much easier than your weapons. So basically if you're struggling with perfect guard, I recommend you to definitely try using the Aegis instead and see if the timing is good for you, as it might completely flip the experience of Lies of P and make you love the game if it's really just the fury attacks that are holding it back from being a fun souls-like. Now naturally this also means that you will be using your legion arms more and your legion charges, so I have a few tips and upgrades that I recommend using so you can keep relying on this mechanic. First of all, make sure you do stock up on Legion Charge restoration items from the hotel shop that you can buy very cheap and always keep them on you for recharging so that you can use your Aegis longer before having to rest again. But since you can only use 3 of these items at the start, you should make sure you have some of the P-Organ upgrades too, namely the ones that increase your consumable slots from 3 to 5 so you can use 2 bonus items before running out. And if you haven't noticed yet, you can also choose the improved Legion Magazine upgrade so that your items recharge around 10% more I would say, so you only need 3 magazines for a full recharge instead of 4, allowing you almost 2 full recharges. Additionally, I also highly recommend getting the upgrade that restores Legion Charge after each enemy kill, as even after level 1, but especially after level 2, you will regain a significant amount of Legion Charges, allowing you to freely use your Aegis even against normal enemies and mini bosses if you have to. But that's a wrap for this really brief quick guide everyone that I wanted to share for those who do struggle a lot against fury attacks and perfect guarding in general, since using the Aegis Legion Arm will pretty much fix your issue in my experience. Let me know if this tip was useful to you or not, and if the ages did make you enjoy Lies of P more, as I'd love to hear your feedback on this. Thank you for watching everyone, take care, and I'll see you all the next time.